Yep, I am floating along here on one uh, fine evening here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, North America. Got a hell of a row of modern day townhouses here. And this area here used to be the uh, CP Angus Yards there where they fixed and renovated locomotives and freight cars right here by 5th Avenue. Jesus Christ, that's ironic that this is 5th Avenue, 5 m Avenue, because I am next to a 1990-something Chrysler Imperial, which of course they built at that time, the 5th Avenue as well, which actually might even be this one behind it here. Which is stupid because it has a... I hate when people do stuff like that. You know, they, it's, people are so kitten. It's so cheesy. Look, it's a nice old whatever Chrysler 1990-something, early 90s, late 80s. Guy got a fucking Harley Davidson plate on it. I hate that shit. You know, I mean, if that floats your boat, fine, but I just think it's stupid. Now, is this a New Yorker or a Fifth Avenue? <laughs> it's a Fifth Avenue. A Fifth Avenue on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> What the burial parked in the front, which by the way, I, it has a continental kit on it, which is fucking weird as hell for these cars. These bodies, I think, were made until 95, I think. I know that because in 95, at the end of 95, I was working for a few months for UNICEF. And uh, their busiest time of year was Halloween, you know, distributing all those boxes out for kids to collect monies. And then it was Christmas. And I hate scooters. And, um, yeah, anyway, so uh, where the hell was I going with this? What happened to the fucking grill on this thing? That's another thing. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so I was working with this guy. I was working with him to help him do deliveries, right? So we often be driving around in this fucking big extended uh, Econoline van powered by a 351 gas engine, which one time he did a burnout in. <laughs> and he showed up one time. His dad had this exactly the same Chrysler 5th Avenue and I remember riding in it and I think this is the same fucking car because the guy was from the East End right he was a local guy the UNICEF store which no longer there it was on uh, Saint Denis and uh, Mohawayat now it's some fucking boutique whatever clothing you know and I'm telling you man this has to be the same car because this 5th Avenue was never common compared to the 80s one they made which of course was a better car but this one also, not only that, it's the same exact color. That's a rare color as well. I guarantee you, man, this is the same fucking car. I almost hesitated, hesitated on stopping to do a video of these cars because, you know, they're not great cars. And, you know, me doing car from the videos, you know, filming cars from the 90s, it's... I don't really do it. You know, it's just they're not old enough yet. It's like they're not ripe enough. They're not old enough, you know. But look at that. The guy even has a club on the fucking steering wheel, man. How's that for love? The guy's got a club on a fucking Chrysler 5th Avenue from the 90s, which is really, what is it really worth? You know, a couple of thousand? But it's got a Continental kit. That's really strange. My voice is really uh, reverberating off the buildings there. Yeah. But really, it's neat to see two of these. I'll tell you something else that's funny. I remember uh, one time many years ago, I think about six years ago or so, I was in the Pointe Saint-Charles there, or some people would say Pointe... Uh, she <laughs> said, and uh, there was two of these, two of these New Yorker slash Fifth Avenues, you know, and uh, people like these, you know. I remember when these came out in '89, along with the Dodge Dynasty. You remember the Dodge Dynasty? Yeah. And uh, they, they, well, not that so much the Dodge Dynasty, but the New Yorker they called it the Chrome Brick, you know. So uh, anyway, uh, that's about it. That's about it, boys and girls. I just wanted to uh, acknowledge these cars, let's say, you know? You could do a lot worse, you know what I mean? Like this, for example. I know it's a Volkswagen, so what? I fucking don't like him. It's boring. 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 The Beamer's okay. That's an Audi, I guess it's okay. Boring, 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 boring. Anyway, you get me, you get the idea. A lot of beamers around here. A lot of yuppies. Young professionals. I'll give you one last look with my, my Schwinn here, 1958, something really old. And I uh, wish you a very all a nice day, a nice evening, and uh, take it easy. And uh, and I just noticed there's a hood damage, uh, the damage on the hood here, on this uh, Fifth Avenue. Right, or somebody, it looks like somebody jumped on this car, I think.
some fucking moron. I don't think that's hail damage. And I think the roof has got the same thing. Yeah, I'm still in my uh, territory of where I reside, where these old Toyota Tercels in the 90s ring supreme. And I can't believe the fucking timing. I really can't. I, I was just several blocks north of here, near Masson Street, and I saw a late 80s, early 90s uh, uh, Chrysler 5th Avenue, oddly enough, parked on fucking 5th Avenue, 5th Avenue. You really think that's a coincidence? And in front of it was an Imperial from the early 90s, which I think I rode in, and I'm riding here going towards slowly my place because I don't, I don't bike at night, you know, because I'm fucking blind as a bat, and here I am at fucking the Hushlaga in Montgomery, like Montgomery Burns or Montgomery Escalators, and what the fuck do I see here? I'm fucking laughing. A Chrysler 5th Avenue that I mentioned in the video of the other Chrysler 5th Avenue that I saw on St. M Avenue, 5th Avenue, that that, that, that that Chrysler 5th Avenue from the early 90s could not compete with the quality of these Chrysler 5th Avenues, and I haven't seen one since fucking, I think, last summer, and here's one right here. I mean, can you fucking believe that? You know, I've always believed that everything happens for a reason. Seriously, really. I mean, now here we are. Here we are. What year is it? Well, for one thing's for sure, they made the Chrysler Fifth Avenue until 1989. And the Chrysler Fifth Avenue was a clever car because it was actually made off an economy car, which was either the Dodge Aspen or the uh, Plymouth Valeri. So was that? that's where it, its origins are from. It was pretty clever. Chrysler was clever like that, you know? Jeez, I hope that was in focus. I hope I didn't start that off out of focus. But this old Chrysler, man, I don't know. I mean, I like it, as I like all gas-guzzling old American cars and trucks. But uh, look at that rear bumper there that got pushed in, you know? And I haven't even gotten to the front yet. <laughs> what does it say here? Oh my God, this car is from far away. Holy Jesus, it's got an original dealer tag. It's from fucking Jean Pierre. Christ, that's far. Oh, and there's a freight. Ah. Come on, focus. Ah, oh, fucking camera, you cocksucker. You missed the two CP locomotives going by. Ah, that's okay, that's okay. I got another CP freight before. Yeah, go, man. Go, baby, go. Anyway, can't get it all, eh? Ah, this fucking camera sometimes. But yeah, that bumper really got pushed in. And, but you know what? Doesn't have, seem to have any rust on the bottom. Rocker panel looks good. It's got dents though. It's in good shape. You know, a lot of people unfortunately would look at a car like this and say, oh, it's a piece of junk, you know. It is a beater. It doesn't have the original rims on it for some reason. What the fuck? These rims, they look like they came off a prelude or something. But what's really weird about this Chrysler, what I was laughing at when I pulled over, is the front. Look at this. Look how out of kilt the whole front is. It's all pushed like... What the fuck happened there? <laughs> Something hit it hard like hell. Right here on the side here. And was actually able to, to knock the whole fucking calon, the whole front clip there off. That's weird. That's really strange. I've never seen that before in a car. I like it. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, one last thing here. Ooh, vintage. Was that a BSA a Triumph? I don't know. One last thing I should point out about this old, uh, as they say in French, a like Chrysler, is the plate here. See? Montreal Expo 67. That's not an original plate though, but it, it looks original. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I might as well show you the Pentastar. That's what they call the hood ornament here. Yeah, and I'll say it before, I'll say it again. If I could legally drive, if I wasn't fucking so visually impaired, that's pretty much exactly the type of car I would buy. And Simon, if you eventually get to see this video, him as well. What's that? Oh.